Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Today's article, or at least this video's article, has to do with uh, some activists, very young adults, um, I don't know if they're teenagers or not, destroying or trying to make a point, a political point, by destroying art, an artistic a painting, an artistic expression of a person who enhanced uh, millions of uh, people's, um, I don't know, artistic itch, if you want. And I do not uh, go by the value, the monetary value of a piece of art. I go by what I feel when I look at it. It piece of art can cost hundreds of millions of dollars. If I don't like it, if I, I don't know, doesn't uh, vibrate with me, or I don't vibrate with that, or if I don't understand it, then I will not appreciate it, unfortunately. So <clears throat> in this case, we have a, uh, a painting, and uh, it's a Van Gogh painting that was desecrated by these activists. So this article comes from Sputnik, from today, which is the 14th of October, 2022. And this is the title, Echo Activists Deface Van Gogh Sunflowers with Tomato Soup in London. So we have um, two young, young people one has a purple hair and the other one has a dark hair and uh, they go and they throw soup on this piece of art. Let's see. The attack on the painting comes after the Just Stop Oil movement staged a massive rally blocking traffic in central London earlier this week. As a result, many climate change protesters were arrested. British eco activists have vandalized Van Gogh iconic sunflowers painting at a national gallery in London, pouring a can of tomato soup on it. According to reports, the attack was committed by two young women, Phoebe Plummer and Anna Holland from Just Stop Oil movement probably and uh, I'm quoting what is worth more art or life is it worth more than food worth more than justice are you more concerned about the protection of a painting or the protection of our planet and people one of them yelled I don't think I need to unpack this very, very shallow statement. Very, very shallow statement. Because if you reason like this, a lot of crimes uh, would result. Uh, we can make this kind of uh, statements regarding our parents, our family, our nation, our everything. Um, these people, these two girls, with their brains and their attitudes, destroyed a piece of art produced by an artist. It's not a weapon, it's not a poison, it's over there to enhance people's souls, to make us reach certain uh, realms of uh, superior feelings and understanding. It's not meant to destroy the planet or anything like that. And these two girls, I'm assuming they haven't, they haven't achieved anything yet in their lives. And they go and they destroy something that has value created by a person 
who created value. They didn't create anything. They destroyed something. And that's the way they think of bringing justice. Destroying to draw attention. Why didn't you destroy something that you created and make a point? Because it's hard to create and it's easy to destroy. I hate or I don't like or I despise people who do not create. They're not, how do you put that? They don't create, they don't bring anything but criticism. You say, well, it's for a just case, uh, cause. Okay, but for a just cause, you do what? What exactly do you, is this the best? Is this a good? I'm just uh, very <laughs> disappointed. Now, just between you and I, I don't think that that painting is the original hung in that gallery. If that's the original hanging there, I would be very surprised. I don't think that in a gallery you hang the original. I think you make a copy or something. That's what I think. Because you can't afford this to happen. You can't afford. But it seems like it's the original. So what can you do? Uh, obviously, uh, you can't make copies and put them on the walls over there, but for this kind of situation in this world, what are you going to do now? Put them all behind, I don't know, uh, windows like I saw in some uh, areas. This is unbelievable. It's unbelievable. So um, the vandals then glued themselves to the wall and were later apprehended by authorities. Officers were rap rapidly on the scene at the National Gallery this morning after two just stop oil protesters threw a substance over painting and then glued themselves to a wall. Both, ha both have arre been arrested for criminal damage, aggravated trespass. Offer officers are now uh, debriefing them or something. Well, uh, they are debonding them. Well, they should use some knives to debond them. Uh, the painting was uh, some flowers painted in 1887 is a series of works by the legendary Dutch artist. The vandalized painting, which is estimated to cost up to $85 million, is considered a major show of the artist's talent, talent demonstrating his uh, trailblazing use of the yellow spectrum. Okay, well, I, would, I, I looked at it and uh, for me, it's just an historical, I'm not impressed by it. I don't, I don't vibrate to that particular painting. And uh, nevertheless, uh, it's not for me that one, it's for others. But still, you don't destroy like that. Um, and it's very strange that they went to the easiest way. The easiest way to hurt something that was really neutral or inactive, can't punch you back, can't hurt you. When they go, for instance, to the headquarters of the, I don't know, Shell, BP, why don't, didn't they try to, I don't know, go to a refinery and do something over there? Why didn't they try to go to a gas uh, station and make a point over there? Uh, it's just, and besides, hey, Van Gogh is dead. Leave him alone. <laughs> you, he's not going to paint no more. He's done. What do you think uh, should happen? Just criminal and the criminal charges should be of what kind of uh, value? How much? What would be the penalty? What penalty would fit the crime? I would do the same thing I, uh, I would do with others like that guy who uh, the American tourist in the Vatican that uh, hit two uh, ancient Roman busts of marble and chip them and so on. I would take these two girls and I put them, I would put them in a facility with food, with anything, but they would not be allowed to leave. They would have to stay in that facility and I would provide them with, uh, I don't know, aqua paint, aqua based paint or if they don't want to use oil and I will require them to paint something of the same value. 
something. And until they are able to do that, they should stay there. And if they are not able, they should stay there until they are able to create something similar to that. Similar, you know, you know what I mean. Uh, I don't know. It's just uh, this is the this is the mentality, and I I don't understand how they could have access to this kind of things. To be able to just destroy that painting like that? What they're gonna put fakes now? Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.